I'm still like a beat. Top of the charts, that's where I should be. I cannot lose like Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard they talking, I'm leaving these niggas to seize. I don't talk, I just slaughter the beat. No, I'm popping them up and they call me a beast. I don't struggle, I do it with ease. Got some shit for the public, I'm about to release. But the neighbors keep calling police. Came from the bottom, I'm diving in deep. Came from the bottom, I'm. Alright, um, what's good fam? It's your man's Kohan. I'm here today with... Elgin. E-L-G-I-N. L with the bit of chin in it. Oh. <laughs> I feel it. So today, we're talking about art. You understand? This is one of the things I like doing in a way. I told you guys, if I'm not mistaken, I take... I'm, a, I'm an estate. Like, you know, I, I like, yo, I love art, bro. Like, music-wise, food-wise. You know, paintings, any form of art, you know, I'd love to admire it. And I love the fact that I'm still going to admire, like, and discover more art, you know, away. So, I discovered this this art gallery today, you know, uh, here we're here at Newtown, Joe's. Junction. Newtown Junction. So, today, we'll start with um, this art piece right here. We will be going to each art piece and basically giving our perception of the art piece, you know, each of us. So for now, I mean, I'd like to know what you see when you look at this art piece right here. Oh, well, this is insane, bro. Just judging from the fact that this is made out of like candle works. Oh, okay. You know, it's insane. Candle yeah, this is insane. And you can see the femininity of it. I see modern nature as I look at this. Mm. You know, the source of life, mm. where life begins, mm. you know, which is Perfection, you know. <laughs> you know, I take the word perfection very seriously. It's very deep for me. It's deep. It is, cause looking at this art piece, bro, like it's flowing. You know, you see life through it. Mm. You know, this art piece and the tree of life, bro, like it's more or less one of the same thing, cause it flows. Mm. You know, you can see the rhythm of it. Yeah. You know, it takes you through a story. Mm something that's like everlasting you know mm. somehow like this bro like kind of like feel embedded somehow like it feels like a tattoo mm. you know it's like just looking at it just like kind of comes your soul comes your heart mm. you know okay interesting so for my view my perception what i see right here ah uh, i'm seeing abstract art you know yes. I'm seeing the abstract in women, yes, you know? I feel that's why she, didn't have, she doesn't have like a head because <laughs> the canvas is her mind, you know? Yes. The abstract colors, red, you know, signifying the rage in a woman. Yes. Blue, signifying the, the sorrows in a woman. Green, signifying the nature, the nurture in a woman. You know, there's a missing piece right here. I feel like everybody's lacking that one thing or we'll have that, that hole that we always need to fill out. That's what I got from this one. It's very beautiful. Oh, I could have never imagined you can make art from wax. Oh my god. How amazing is that? Ah. Trust me, there's too much here. There's too much. There's too much. Okay, yeah, tell us, tell us what, what you see. So, dude, this is too much, dog. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you see the bread thing here. Oh, shh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I see it's bread things. Are we, are we, are we? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He's a bread winner. Oh, my God. He's bringing home the. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is like indoor. Oh, like, you know? my God. That is art, dude. Facts. It interprets itself. Mm. And you must see the story within it. Mm. What does the the the, um, the saint stand for? Yeah, so it's zero zero, though. No one's got shit. Mm. Living below the bread line. Oh, zero zero cents. I thought it was a yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. cents. No, no, no. It's zero zero cents. Oh, okay. Oof. Numbers are not adding up. Mm. The breadwinner. Hey, what? Mambi. Tire. Tire. I understand. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm thankful for him having okay. shown me, you know, what I was naive 
too naive to see. You understand? But no, yeah. no, no, no. Sometimes it's all on understanding, dog. You know, patience yeah. and saying things. Cause everything matters, dog. There's nothing you gotta skip in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Every single detail matters. Oh, maybe it bored me like that. It gave me that yeah, percent yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the anger I have toward capitalism and those type of things. You know, seeing a man holding a tire with a dark background. Yeah, it's covered which, by yeah, darkness. Pretty much, it's always like uh, intertwined with being black and shit. Yeah, yeah. You so know. maybe that's why it gave me that thing of uh, same story again. Yes. Uh, no, nah, you know. but that's who we are. Yeah. It's not the same story. At the end of the day, that's what we are. Is, that's who we are. It's you in know. our DNA. Damn. Oh yeah, there was these other ones this side. Mm. The burnt ones. Mm. Oh. Are these burnt ones like? And he showed me how like they burnt. Yeah, so so Tumelo tells his story. The artist's name is Tumelo. Tumelo tells his story. Tumelo mo mokapa Yes, sir. Mokapa Hosi. Yeah, so literally, less fire speaks through him. Mm. So it doesn't use a stencil. So everything is like freestyled, but the patterns are never the same. Freestyle. Yes, sir. Mm. And the peasants can never be the same. Never be the same. <laughs> Even if, no matter how much he wants to. But it, mm. every 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 painting, every each every each one of them tells a different story. You know, it narrates a different kind of feel. Mm. I like the tree over there. Oh my god. We're still gonna touch on the topic of the tree of life when we get to that painting over there. Yeah, I think it's I saw another one, got a another tree paint another painting of a tree that's like this. Mm. Alright, okay. Uh, you guys can check him out. You know, um, he, that's oh, he makes really nice art, and I love the ones on the tree over there. Mm. The rand. Interesting. Eh? This one is controversial, dude. Like solo, so, solo dio gloria. What does that mean? Oh well, like according to the artist, mm. remember Zim also uses like rands somehow, but like the main form of trading they use dollar right oh, okay so so like it's like a collaboration just to boost up one nation mm, okay, okay. there's power in units the only way zim can come out of what is going through is like having africa backing it up mm. i feel like it also speaks to the xenophobic um part of it because it's it's that why fight Wi-Fi, it's exactly. As brothers, yes, 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 yes. It's people from the same continent, the same nation. Wi-Fi. And the person who made this one is? Bukhosi, yeah. B-U-K. Bukhosi, 2013. Mm. Yes, Damn. Bukhosi, yes. Mm. Okay. Over here. Powerful one, eh? Powerful. Hmm. This time I want you to be the first one to actually Tell me how you feel about this one. Cause this one, I bet even some of your 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 your, your audience knows who this guy is. This is a very powerful, powerful piece of art. Mm. You see, that's the problem. My lack of art history and knowledge. I don't know who this guy is, you know, but with me not knowing who he is. But I see when I look at this picture, I see a father of a nation. Mm. Irrespective of his name or his title or his history, mm. I see a father of a nation. Interesting. You know, I'm not quite sure what this this right here is. This looks like a trophy or something. What's this? It looks like a river or something. What's this? So amazingly bro i'm amazed about what you just said right now i guess like you you read art in a proper way in that sense okay. this is the father of the nation mm. you're looking at credo mutua credo mutua yes and he is known as the father of the nation oh, okay can you tell us about what he did what made him uh, have this title so the knowledge that this guy had had was was crazy bro like dude he's one of the how can i call it one of the chosen ones you know what i mean okay. to actually even live to tell the story of 
who we are as black people mm. how what we stand for where we, how we supposed to actually adjust ourselves mm. in this thing called life mm. you know mm. Tama Credo Muta was Mutua. Was one of the greatest, bro, in that sense of like the history and the knowledge that he had within him was so interested that it even attracted the rest of the world to actually go down to him and actually like try and find out what it is to be a person of 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 color in that mm. sense or person with that melanin within him, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. And actually let you know that you are more than everything else a king. Mm. You know, there's more to you than what you actually know mm. as an African person. Mm. Mm. Interesting thing about Taimo was the fact that he was one of the first African people that I had talk about extraterrestrials. Oof, okay. His okay. experience with extraterrestrials. Mm. He's, he claimed to have experience with extraterrestrials. Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> okay. So there's the, the okay. knowledge is online if you look for it. Mm -hmm. Credo Mutua, yeah. Mm -hmm. His experience of what happened when he was captured by these beings at some point. Mm. Very detailed, very scary. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Now we'll look, them, we'll look him up. I will edit it uh, perfectly for the people to be able to see like his history and everything, yes, you know. Sir. Yeah, shout out. And um, we'll get his handle also, because I know all three of these art pieces were by the same person. Yes. Perfect. All right. Yo, here's the most important one right here. Oh, this is like the one that caught my attention from da, from da, and I looked at it and I was like, it's giving Lion King. But not just that, it's giving nation. I understand. It's giving insults. I understand. And most importantly, it's giving tree of life. Mm. Mm -mm. Not to mention in Africa. <laughs> what do you get from this, my girl? Bro, like, yo, this one is deep, eh? Too much. Like, it gives me goosebumps as you speak. Because mm. you, must, you must remember, dog, like, life began in Africa. Mm. 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 Everything else that you see out there, bro, started here. Mm. Mm. So, my viewers out there want to know, you know, and I say tree of life, and I emphasize it like that. Often, yeah. It's here, nile out, sile. Kulumanga. Tree of life. Mm. Yeah, the tree of life is all about being, understanding who you are, what you want and where you want to go as a person, right? So yeah. being able to interpret what life is about and being able to capture all that energy that what, what, what was given to you mm. by your creator. To take and understand and feel and are then you, project. Are you, are, you, are you religious? Yeah, you can say, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Religious in one sense. No, 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 no ways, bro. What did you mean by creator? Yeah, if, you, if you're not, like, religious. You don't have to be religious to understand that, like, there's a creator at the end of the day. Okay, like, I was telling them in the previous episode, I'm like, an agnostic theist. That's what we are until, like, there's a creator. But I feel we cannot comprehend what... The, the 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 entities like thoughts even ah oh, you know that type of thing or because we lost not that we can't mm -hmm. but for the fact that we don't understand the language anymore yeah so there's no communication they are communicating but like mm. you you're not receiving it because you don't understand it mm. Mm. i feel like okay as agnostic theists we don't know like oh, the properties attributes like oh anything about the creator but you know i feel like there's enough evidence in the universe that leads to the evidence of a type of creator or a creator nonetheless you know so okay moving from that uh, in a way talking about the tree of life and how you were saying hold it emphasizes you where you come from where you are 
and where you are going yes sir the tree of life how i perceive it you know i'll just give you a small and a piece of how i perceive it you know you know timelines yes sir uh, how destiny and free will contradict each other so in that essence the tree of life to me looks like a timeline splitting into different alternate realities and probabilities giving birth to life and nature as we know it shut up you know mm -hmm. okay there's always going to be like a branch a branch there's always going to be leaves falling off death life that's a piscina of how i perceive it you know i won't go too much into depth but because you know each time that guys ish. but yeah so the tree of life i see how it's even nesting creation yes sir hmm you know it, yeah this, there's, this piece there's, just there's a womb me. in it there's something there's comfort mm. there's something that's capturing you mm. you feel you feel comfort just yeah. knowing that you you are home Mm. You know what I mean? You feel comfort knowing that like you are what begins and what ends because God lives within us. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Beautiful. 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 There's no words, guys. No words to describe the beauty in those words right now. But thank you very much for your time and toilet shut today. Up, shut up. I wanted to to go into the fabrics over there, but it's time, guys. Time is not on our side. Time is not on our side, guys. Now me, my cousin needs to be home. It's, it's, it's late now. It's, but yeah, thanks, guys. Um, you were still telling us about the merch and the branding and everything. Oh, shout out! So, homie here, Elgin by the name. Uh, basically, uh, I'm a hustler. Been in the streets, pushing and uh i consider myself uh, a creative person man on the moon you know and we we have uh, a brand two brands under us skateboarding brands high roller skateboarding i don't know if your audience is familiar with that and then we have a brand called modish people so what modish people is is like a premium brand that pretty much speaks about everything that we actually detailed today being African, mm, mm. embracing you yourself as an African, knowing that you're intelligent, you created pretty much everything that you see around the world. Mm. You gave birth to the culture that is within this world. Mm. You know, everything that lives and breathes and breathe was made by an African person. Mm. You know, whether entertainment, whether is action. Mm. Whether it's drama, whether it's what, mm. most likely the story was told by an African person. Mm. An African person always has a hand in everything that you see around you, like it or not. Mm. Whether it's cleaning someone's garden to actually coming up with a plan to an, a scientist. That's why I love the fact of Loki, the one who, you know, you know Loki? The yeah, series? yeah, the Thor's brother. Not yeah, Loki yeah, brother. yeah. Loki yeah. Thor's brother. The, 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 the series. Oh, you know the Loki, series? Yes, he has his own series. Yeah. Well, I didn't watch his. Oh, it. yeah, yeah, but then I know who Loki is. Oh, that guy's series is beautiful. It's written beautifully. There's Does an episode. Does represent a black person? And, mm hmm I want, I want, I'm releasing, I, I already shot the video, I just have to like edit it, you know, there's a lot of editing that's going to go into it, so I really shot about it, uh, Loki, you know, the series and how I hate the fact that one of the, the Caucasian actors, you know, the, the white actors, they couldn't accept that like, God was black, hmm. he who remains, the guy at the end of time, who knows everything that is to happen, he was black. Take a shot. <laughs> he was black, my guy. And she just couldn't accept it. She wanted to kill the guy. Can you imagine? Kill the guy. For being a creator, for setting out her destiny. Her life was unfair, she says. Oh, I, I have a quote for her. Naive as the leaf looking up to the sky, asking, why me? You know? Asking why me? Why me? 
It's life. It's how it is. You dry up, you fall from the tree, you go onto the ground, you become the ground. Shut up. Cycle of life. We move, right? We move. Guys, shout out for this episode. Uh, Divine Providence as usual. Fear it, guys. It's your man's Cole Hunt signing out. Peace.